Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Very quick one again today, Neo 2 patch update 1.08. As with previous patch notes, I will cover what changes I feel will impact the most people from what I've read, and I'll leave a link in the description for the whole set of notes so that you can check for yourselves if anything specific to your playthrough has been adjusted. Bear in mind that I've taken this directly from the source in Japanese and used Google Translate, so the translation is unlikely to be perfect. So point one, a bunch of yokai skills have been adjusted. The team are obviously trying to balance the power of various yokai abilities here. The changes include increases to the power of certain attacks, reduction in the energy required to activate certain attacks, and even the frame rate or animation adjustments to some of the attacks to make them more fluid in battle. Some examples are the Fire Wheel, which now has an increased damage and reduction to the cost to activate. The Yamaba attack has been sped up, resulting in a net DPS increase. The Gaki ability now gives more Amrita on hit and Tengu has received a slight change to the animation to make it more fluid along with a damage boost. Bear in mind there are more changes listed in the notes so make sure to check those to see if a favourite yokai ability of yours has been adjusted. Unfortunately not all the news is good. Some abilities seem to have received a nerf. I'll list these on the screen for you now so you can take a look. So moving on. The following soul cores have had their drop rates increase which will make your farming easier. The only soul cores in particular they're the elemental floating heads in case you're wondering, or reputedly very rare. Hopefully this will be a quality of life improvement for anyone hunting for those. So next, the team have made changes to some of the training missions to make sure it syncs up with your current level and adjusts the difficulty accordingly. Fairly straightforward change there. And the final point I'm going to cover. They've adjusted the aiming for long range weapons, bow, rifle, etc. to make it easier to see. Again, the notes or translation isn't 100% clear on exactly what has been done. I tested this for myself to see, and to me it seemed like a smoother transition to aiming down sights, but I could of course be imagining that after reading the patch notes. Let me know what you guys think. Right guys, there are more notes to read through, the link is in the description. Additionally, there are a bunch of bug fixes if you want to check those out. Hope you found this useful, thanks for joining me. Take care guys, stay safe, see you now, bye bye.